how that's how I got my wallet stolen with my ID, my social security card, all of my cards in there, and my Audi gift card. I'm really pissed about my Audi gift card because I was gonna buy groceries when I go back home. But now I don't have anything. I don't have any money and all of my accounts are closed. Isn't that a great way to come home after you was just OT for a week? Hmm. So I landed. I'm about to get my luggage. I'm excited. I'm excited. I got this fat coat on. And I literally feel the heat. I'm ready to get outside. Yeah. So welcome to my MTV Cribs tour, babe. So this was my room. This is the bathroom. Cool, cool, it's cute, nice. I don't know why I showed it so many times. Kitchen, living room area. And this was X's room. I don't know why they gave him all the towels. Like I wasn't gonna wash my ass, but whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know why like Airbnbs, like Netflix and stuff don't be logged in. That kind of pissed me off. But this was probably one of my like favorite Airbnbs so far, just aesthetically. All right, y'all, status updates. I'm at the b, &B. It's 7.29 ADT, so it's 7.49, 7.29 my bad, I'm Puerto Rico right now. Um, I spent three hours at the airport because I lost my wallet. Um, I asked everybody in there to help me. They act like they couldn't. And yes, they spoke English. They all spoke fucking English. Yeah, everybody act like they couldn't help me except for one lady. She was so nice. Um, yeah, their fucking police don't do anything. Everybody just acted slow. And the lost and found at the airport closes at, uh, like five. So... They didn't do anything. Now I don't have a social security card. I don't have an ID. I don't have any of my cards. And I lost my Audi gift card. I was gonna go fucking grocery shopping when I got home. I'm just so over irritated. Like I'm so annoyed right now. Like, hey y'all okay so i know i look kind of rough right now um i just got back but i forgot i never told y'all the whole story of how i got my wallet stolen so boom this is what happened so basically i was trying to like vlog like i'm not really used to like vlogging and stuff which doesn't really like matter the point is um i landed in san juan cool Walk the baggage claim. I still have my coat on because I flew in from Chicago. Had a coat on, some Uggs, the whole nine. Cool. My wallet was inside my coat and I kept my coat on me. Like I didn't put it in my backpack or anything because I just don't like that. I want to, I like keeping my stuff close. It was in my coat. No, it was in my coat the whole time. I got off the plane and it was in my coat still. I get the baggage claim. I get the baggage claim. Maybe it's 85 degrees. I'm burning up. Like, I'm burning up. So, what I decided to do is uh, take my coat off. So, I was, uh, my luggage was arriving at baggage claim, like, number four. And, because I was united. And um, my, I, I stood, like, I went to baggage claim number five. So basically what I did is I walked around because I, I saw where it was. The baggage didn't come yet. So I decided to make a video. So I walked around and I was like, hey, y'all. Like, I just landed. Y'all are going to see the video. Like, I'm going to insert it. Yeah. So I made a little video like, hey, I just landed. Da, 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 whatever I said. And then um, I set my stuff down so I could take my coat off um, and I could take my wallet out and put it in my backpack. And I was at baggage, like, claim carousel five. That was Delta. Delta United Delta was right there. So I could literally see, like, my baggage claim thing. So, um, yeah. I do that. I take my coat off and stuff. <clears throat> Once I take my coat off, I swear that I put my wallet in my, um, that I swear that I put my wallet in my backpack so that's cool so i see a few people that are 
and they have like taxis and whatever so i'm like looking at them but i swear that i put my wallet in my backpack i guess i didn't so it's probably been like 10 15 minutes at this point yeah it's gone like it's gone i know I, I had to have set it down at carousel five like baggage claim five um because when i went back like i was ready to go and i called my uber and everything and then i realized like i, I just felt like i didn't have my wallet and i didn't I checked everything I had. I checked my backpack. I checked my purse that was in my backpack. I emptied everything out. I checked my coat again, my Uggs, like everything was gone. Um, nobody helped me, literally. Like nobody wanted to help me. Nobody really cared for real. There was one lady in there. Um, I didn't get her name, but I want to thank her so much for helping me out at least a little bit. Like she worked at um, United at like the little baggage claim thing. and she, But she was originally from Chicago, but she's like Puerto Rican so she was like yeah i moved here like 30 years ago and i realized like a big difference between like the u.s and like puerto rico and the fact that nobody cares like everybody be essentially is on island time and i realized what island time was once i stayed there for like um for like the week or however long i was there they're just really laid back everybody's in their own lane and they only really care about what they have going on which is cool, they mind their business, they out the way, their crime rates are really low. But baby, where's my wallet? And you know how I knew it was stolen? Like, yes, I did leave it. I get it. But I knew it was stolen because they was making transactions on my credit card. Because I locked my debit cards and I only have one credit card. And they are were spending stuff on my um, credit card. And honestly, like... I'm, I wasn't even that upset because it was all Ubers. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. They literally had um, bought just all Ubers on my stuff, on my credit card. And I'm like, it's probably just somebody that worked at the airport that just needed. <clears throat> oh, my God. Excuse me. I'm like, it's probably somebody that just worked at the airport that just honestly needed the money because there was like 77 cents ubers eight dollar uber six like nothing went above ten dollars and that's why i'm like it's probably just somebody from the airport that just really needed the money to like you know get from work to home you know back and forth so i honestly wasn't tripping like i didn't really mind be honest with you obviously i'm going to dispute them obviously and i'm going to get a new car but i don't know it just it didn't bother me that much although they did buy an uber every single day that week i was there um i don't know and i don't know I, I don't know if people expected me to, like especially my family to have like a bigger sense of like urgency or whatever um i don't know because obviously i'm upset about it or i was upset about it but what can i do baby i'm out the country i'm out the country like i'm about to live my life and all of my stuff was already paid for baby i'm the type of girl that travels with all expenses paid prior to and I, I never even thought about the fact that this could potentially be like a problem i could run into but this is why i pay for all my stuff ahead of time because literally everything was paid for i just had to pay for my food which i had money to like pay for my food and stuff like that but i still needed my car and this is the one time i went out of town and didn't get a rental so I had to keep using money for Ubers. Oh my God, it was so irritating. I'm never going out of time without a rental again. On my soul. On my soul. But yeah, that's what happened. And that's how I lost my wallet. Um, or that's how I got my wallet stolen. With my ID, my social security card, all of my cards in there. And my Audi gift card. I'm really pissed about my Audi gift card because I was going to buy groceries when I go back home. But now I don't have anything. I don't have any money and all of my accounts are closed. Isn't that a great way to come home after you was just OT for a week? Hmm. But yeah, I know I'm not really tripping for real. Money come and go. Money come and go. I'm going to get it back. So yeah, I really don't mind. It's nothing to be like. It is something to be super upset about. Like this is detrimental that could definitely like do a lot of stuff with my social security number and my id but what am i supposed to do go back to san juan and and, and chase them down like no i literally did everything i could like i made a police report um 
I made a police report. I went to the lost and found damn near every day that week at the airport. I was in the airport for three plus hours trying to find my wallet, find my ID, find something. I looked at all the trash cans, like, yeah, it wasn't really nothing else I could do. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. But back to the regularly scheduled program, first blog, blah, first blog, so it's a little rough. Bear with me. I'm a, I must, let me know if y'all want me to do more vlogs. Um, cause this was fun. This was super fun for me. So, um, yeah, back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, y'all, it's the next day. We're gonna try this again. I still don't have no wallets, no ID, no social security card, no cards, no debit card, no credit cards, no debit cards, no nothing. And my Audi's card is missing because it was in my wallet. So, I still don't have my wallet, but I'm gonna try to make the most out of this trip. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do what I can. And yeah, so let's make the most out of it. I'm about to get ready for my day. First thing on the list is ATV riding. Let's go. Keep in mind, I didn't do anything that first day. Like, girl, I didn't even eat nothing. So I didn't get to record like the initial entrance because I didn't have my um, card or my ID. So I had to end up paying the cash. They gave me a refund. So it did make me a little bit late. But just keep that in mind if you do decide to um atv ride or do any other activities at this place you do need a physical copy of your id and card but they had two stops this is our first stop beautiful and this was our second stop even more beautiful um they also have food at this stop you can take pictures they have a restroom and stuff like that and this was actually inside the rainforest on the river yeah they had good food good drinks i got a pina colada and a coconut which was great i'm not gonna lie this was the best atv ride i've ever been on ever top toronto and houston <laughs> So this is my friend that was supposed to be in PR with me, but he missed his flight. So next up is a mixology class at Bacardi. It's actually behind three security doors. Only five people have access to it. They are the ones that are in charge of propagating the yeast so we can keep making more and more of that Bacardi rum. Now the yeast does all the work in this little area right here, the fermentation area. So while we like mixing everything, everybody getting in their seats, I call myself trying to try the rum, the Bacardi rum. Girl, when I tell you what's so nasty, oh my god. Ugh, I'm not a rum girly. I'm barely a liquor girly, please. No flying pina coladas. Wow, a Christmas miracle. All right, so gente, now, you know how it goes, we gotta cheer, right? So, just like before, go ahead and press reach for that glass, place it right here in the middle, and repeat after me. Parida! Parida! Ah, you can do better than that. that was, you ready? I did it, good, come on. All right, repeat after me. Parida! For the price of this and everything that it included, I really feel like we got a, I got a lot of bang for my buck. So this was the mixology class that included two drinks and it was also a Bacardi tour. The Bacardi campus was beautiful. Everyone was super nice, super helpful. I had a great time, honestly. We are oh. 11 10. 
1110 in Puerto Rico. This shit look crazy in the back. It look like we in the hood. <laughs> it look like we in the trap. It look like we in the hood. No way. That's crazy. Puerto Rico really look like South Beach. No, for real. This shit look like Miami Junior. Miami Senior. Fuck that. This shit look like Miami Senior. Your beauty on the walls and shit. And my man back on the east side. Okay. okay. Like, bro, this shit look. Yeah, but all right, bro. So look, we got some Jose Corvo. We about to get drunk. We about to smoke. We got some weed from this man at this restaurant. About to see what it's sitting on. And yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, small, it like was but it was dark. We we up there finding seashells in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark, like we can see it for real. Pacos. But yeah. Uh, All right, so I'll be back. I forgot to mention that we went to this rooftop Kumo. It was so pretty, but the food was disgusting. <laughs> I should have this in my room. Like, why do she got the dip shit? Mirror my big as hell. This bitch is about like 10 feet tall. No, no it is for I got some NBA shit. Yeah, I took some five pictures here earlier. Like, you standing on the top of the motherfucking thing, you still not even tall enough. Like, that bitch is tall as hell. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely did plot on getting the best room, but why did this man complain every day, bro? Like, every day he was there. Why do you have the better room? Why do you have the better room? Like, I should have the better room. I ain't older than you. I'm like, bro, like, oh my God, like, shut up. I'm trying to be out of town. I'm trying to find the men's. Okay, you're mad because the princess gotta have the biggest and the best. I'm the real, of course. <laughs> the real has gotta get the illest, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Like, he was so bitter, please. So it's the next day and I was on my way to the beach. Um, X was doing something. I lucky forgot what he was doing. Um, we was kind of like together half and half this trip, which was cool. So I was on my way to the beach. Then I was about to go get something to eat at a rooftop. It's called Chloe. The food was really good. This probably the best food, the best views I had down in PR. Not even gonna hold you. So yeah, it was beautiful. Great food, great service. So later down the line, after we both ate and did what we was doing that day, me and X met up to go jet skiing. A hundred out of ten, bro. I gotta give me one of these. I have to buy a jet ski. The way I thought my lashes and everything else on my body was just gonna be flung into the ocean was crazy. Great lash retention. For y'all that don't know, I'm a DIY girly. I do everything myself. So I was really, really surprised that like my lashes didn't fall off or nothing like that in the ocean, all that ocean water. So yeah, but this was a great experience and I feel like I got a lot of bang out of my buck. Real cheap compared to what I thought it would be. Oh my God, I don't wanna go home. I'm about to move here. Real talk. So I got a veggie burger at this place called Burger and Mayo, and this was the best food we had in PR because they don't season nothing. So yeah. Uh, so on to the next day, and these are the views. Today we're going snorkeling with the fishes. Yes, this was an amazing experience, and I know I keep saying that, but seriously, like down to the price for this, this was worth it. We got free videos. Um, we got to go as deep as we wanted to go literally we could take off our life vest everything and this was only like 30 or 45 dollars great price great deal so honestly for the rest of the day we were just on island time kicking it catching a vibe time you get to that food that's gonna be loud. So this is another restaurant that actually had really good food and they actually had like kind of a variety too. So yeah, they had great drinks as well. I really did want to try like different food since I was out of the country and I was just somewhere different in general. That's normally what I do, you know, different place, new food, new everything. But no, Puerto Rico is just not a foodie place to go.
So we all went out to the strip club the other night, but today we went to the festival in San Juan. San Juan is the hood, y'all. I'm telling y'all for real. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm feeling bonito. It's 9 p.m. in Puerto Rico. We're carrying liquor on the street in front of the police, smoking a blunt. And they didn't do nothing but give us directions. We love that. Baby, I had a time. It was people dancing in the street. They were singing, cheering, everything. There was a concert. I love San Sebastian. I love San Sebastian. I will always come back. We was out there for hours all night. We was out there till like 4 or 5 in the morning. Mind you, this is a four-day festival, and we came on the first day. So at this point, I was just there for the vibes, turning up with my friend in the back right there. I know it's real zoomed then, but... Yeah, I loved it. We was walking around for hours at this point. I think we finished that whole bottle. We was cool. Yeah, we just walked around the whole all San Juan, bro. It's time. Like I told y'all, San Juan is the hood. But this is the last and final day. And I decided to go to yoga today. This was really cheap, too. It was like $20. Yoga on the beach. Look, I don't know if it's me and I be finding the best deals, but baby, I got banged for my book. We was there for like an hour, hour and a half. I loved this. This was so calming. Had a great instructor. Loved the whole experience. So this is the Bistro Cafe. The last restaurant I went to, they gave huge portions, but it was pretty good. It was like an 8 out of 10. It had a cute aesthetic. And they also had a cute little pina colada, which I got with rum. It was great. Tastes no liquor. So initially I showed y'all a little bit of the neighborhood we were in. Our Airbnb was in a million dollar neighborhood, but they had barbed wire on the top of their fences. They were scaring me a little bit, but it was really nice though. Overall, I give this experience a million out of 10. I will be back to the islands.